You know, every time I restart my Dreamcast and it has me reset the clock, it's always November 27th, 1998. I gotta look that up, see if that was the uh, day that the Dreamcast was released in the United States. Probably was. Anyway, let's go. Resident Evil. In case you couldn't guess by now, this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Violence and gore. Violence and gore. We're gonna skip that. We know what happens to you already, Claire. We're not interested in you anymore. Now, Resident Evil. We're here for your brother Chris. And maybe Leon Ghost. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, Chris, look at the photos 50 times. Was it 50? Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mio X Phil. Last time, well, we, we fought a guy, a gangly spider-man, well, not a gangly spider-man, a gangly spider-man, <laughs> who wore, well, who had an exposed heart, a soft soul, with a, uh, I'm not bringing this any farther than I already have. Anyway, where are those? Yes, those M100Ps. I'm finally gonna use these bad boys. Been holding on to them long enough. We have a rock snake to take care of. Once and for all, even though I've already taken care of them with Claire. Now I wonder, maybe some of you can answer this for me. If I had killed the rock snake with Claire, would I now be fighting him with Chris? Hmm? No, I really am curious. I have no idea. I just noticed how kind of blocky Chris's face looks in this profile compared to how he looked in previous games. I can't really get a good look at him from here either. Honestly, right now he looks like Leon with a bit of a haircut and a darker dye job. Not saying that Leon's hair is dyed, of course. You're born with that kind of boy band hair. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Take that. Oh, jeez. All right, let's get to a safe place. All right. Well, we got some room to maneuver, at least. Okay. Seems to be doing some damage. I'll try to save the grenade launcher as long as I can. Especially because we, we've seen how well it worked uh, beforehand with Claire. I'm not going to use any acid rounds on him. I'm going to save the, the for bosses that matter. We've seen how well the regular grenades work. Not that great. There we go. Seems like we're whittling him down well enough. Yeah. He's got nothing on us. This guy's a pushover. <laughs> we're pushed over. Alright, how are we doing on health? He only hit us a couple times. Yeah, we're fine. Maybe not now. No, we're still on caution. I keep forgetting. I can look at the little, uh, I don't even, DMU, I think it's called. Virtual memory unit. I keep forgetting I can look at that with the Dreamcast. There we go! You have... Ugh. Oh, good thing we did kill him. Sorry if we, uh, shot at him. The bullets passed through you, maybe. But this rock snake has tunneled his last bore. Board his last tunnel. Hold on! 
Don't give up. <laughs> Don't take this medicine I have. Looks like I can meet my family again. Here. Take this. What? She gave this to me as a token of thanks for saving her. I won't need it anymore. I got nicotine patches. They've got nicotine patches in heaven. <laughs> We've taken the lighter. Anyway. Oh no, he's not breathing anymore. We could, totally couldn't have given him uh, one of our... And there are herbs right over here. Oh well, if he's not going to use them. Doodly doodly do. Do 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 do. Uh, I think I will. Uh, I could try to resuscitate him, but you know, nah, that's okay. All right, let's get that lighter out. <laughs> I feel really bad, because... Wow, it's like you have not even... <sighs> and you were on the police force, Chris. Come on, you could at least try to give him, like... Try to resuscitate him. A little mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. <laughs> Ooh, handgun bullets. Anyway... Completely forgetting about the, uh, dead body now. Ah. Damn. Okay, one second. <laughs> Gotta drop some of this stuff off. I will always remember you. Did he actually get a, give us his name? It was in the dossier that they had on Claire. I will always remember you, Lando Calrissian. Lando Antonio Banderas Calrissian Your death shall not go in vain Hopefully <laughs> Will not be in vain So A little bit of a uh, problem here That I'm seeing Because uh, you didn't notice what I was trying to pick up just a second ago, and oh my god, thank god, this time I'm remembering the lighter, because there's so many parts of, uh, Claire's part of the story where I was just like, this is so dark, why can't I see? I had the lighter right on me, come on, what a fool I was. Not gonna make that mistake for at least another five minutes. Apparently. <laughs> it's my favorite modifier in here. Apparently, it's a switch that calls the elevator. I've never seen an elevator with these buttons to the right of them before. Anyway, problem and pattern I'm noticing. We keep getting a uh, bowgun ammo. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no smoking in elevators, Chris. Anyway, I don't know if you've noticed, but I kind of had the bowgun on me when I fought the last boss with Claire. So... Yeah, don't know if that's gonna be a problem. I'll use it. Aw oh, man, it's so cool to have a real action hero like Chris. No, fire both of them at it. God, it's like nobody taught you how to aim like a gangster. You're not even turning them sideways, Chris. Come on. Alright, there was another one, or was he just being an idiot and pointing it all over the place? Alright, so it seems like it's round two of the island. We thought we could get away. But little did we know that it would not be that easy. Aha! Now we're going to figure out all these the shenanigans that are going to go on with this. Actually, now the tank's moved, isn't it? So if we go out here, 
It's not gonna be there, right? No, it's still there, okay. But there are no dogs. <laughs> that I am thankful for. But it also looks like we can't go this way. Because the door's blocked off. And I don't think... No, we can't go through there. Alright, can we, uh... Can we get our own Harrier jet, just be on our way? Aha! There is a button! Yes! I will push that button. See, I can remember cutscenes. I'm not the fool I once was. I know about the secret hidden button. I don't know how Chris knew about it, but I know about it. Isn't that nifty? Uh, ooh. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Thanks for just dropping that there, Alfred. The uh, late Alfred, maybe? Maybe he'll come back again. I don't know. Seemed pretty, uh, a resolute end for him in, uh, Alexia's arms, but, hey, I don't know. I hear creepy music, but I don't hear zombie footsteps. Ooh, what do we have here? Manhole, it's tightly shut. I can't open it from here. Okay. Guess we need a uh, crowbar. Or... What's this? Shotgun shells. I don't have a shotgun yet. And yeah, the herbs. Ooh, having a little problems there. Dreamcast. <laughs> Hang in there. We're almost done with the game. Well, apparently we're about halfway through the game now. I was expecting the Antarctic base to be longer. I don't know, once I figured out... Is this toxic gas? It's very green in here, I can't tell. Once I figured out what I was actually, uh, doing... In the... Do we have a supply crate? We do have a supply crate. Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh, I'm not opening a drawer that seems like a trap. Not yet, at least. Um, but yeah, no, once we, once we uh, figured out what we were doing, once we turned on the power, it's, everything started to click into place. Not that I'm complaining, I'm glad that we could actually... If only I had an ink ribbon. Like the one sitting right in front of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut you any crap, Chris. Cut you any slack, Chris? You were in a game. You were in another game that doesn't that. Well, no, you weren't in another game. You were in another thing that transpired before this all happened. When Claire was looking for you, and she couldn't find you. I'm not cutting you any slack. Actually, someone was saying I should have saved the AK zombies. So I'll, I'll hold on to that for right now, too. Alright. Now begins the collect-a-thon, where we go, go, go around and just collect everything we've passed up to this point. Yeah. It's going to be uh, an exciting few moments. I'll just do a little bit of inventory management. Especially because we don't have the uh, expansion to our inventory that Claire had. Don't know if we're actually going to get that either, because uh, last time, in Resident Evil 2, when we picked up the inventory expansion slot, with Leon, we couldn't get it with with Claire, so seems like that's the way it would work in this one. Maybe, yes, no, maybe. I'm gonna say probably that's the case. That would make sense to me. All right. 
were there herbs that I left in the Antarctic? I feel like there might have been. Ah oh, well, people keep telling me this game is hard. I mean, that boss on the plane was hard. Jeez, oh my god. Yeah, he was hard. But I have yet to be actually challenged by anything but the dark. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This... It's not as hard as Resident Evil 1, but it's definitely definitely a step up, step up from 2. Well, except for the lack of uh, tall grand. I don't know. I'm out of it. I'm out of modifiers for him. Tall gray and stoic. There we go. Works as well as anything else. Oh wait, I never actually checked if I could open this. No. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, the battery pack. Now we can, uh... Is it charged? We could, uh, go up to the... Oh, no, no, no. We could go up to the second floor, right? Yeah. Looks like it's charged. I mean, I'm assuming that's what the green is. Watch out behind you! <laughs> if only. Yeah, no, now that, uh... Wait, wait, what? There's a hole where the halberd once was. Oh, so we gotta make a halberd shape, not just the crest this time. Oh, jeez. Hello! Uh... Goodbye! <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> I, I realized right before I went into the inventory that he turned, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... Those guys can take care of themselves for now. I'm good. Wait, where's the... Oh, here's the... <laughs> I'm like... Oh, man, I thought I was trapped for a second. I thought that somehow once... In the time that I had just been underground someone had come along and just bricked up the wall most cunning trap ever connived all right so we should be able to put this in here there we go oh fantastic now before i do that though can we go in through no no i want Stay an item. And we go through in through here, and this time I've got the goddamn lighter. Oh no, because there's a barrel in the way. Okay. <laughs> yes. Finally. Finally, I can go this way. Ah! What treasures await? Chem storage key. Well, that's... Ah! A file! Yes! Exactly what I wanted! Report enhanced anti-decay alloy. Oh my god, this sounds like... This sounds like a party. Okay, gotta think of another voice. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? <laughs> and on that, I end the episode. No. <laughs> Leave in the comments what kind of voice you think I should do. Um... I kind of want to do a groundskeeper willy. Can't do, I can't do that sustained a stereotypical Scottish accent for that long. Although we plan to utilize the enhanced anti-decay alloy called Deployed to create the storage capsule of the new B.O.W., we have had to cancel the plan. This is primarily based upon the fact 
though despite its excellent resistance to all kinds of liquid, including strong acid. It easily dissolves when soaked with a mixture of the two chemicals, chemical alpha, chemical sigma. I think I actually got it right. It's been a while since I did physics and maths. Due to the lethal, due to the lethal, <laughs> lethal, I'm gonna leave it in there, nature of the new B.O.W., we cannot be too careful in choosing the material for their storage capsule. We have instead decided to use diploid to create plate portion of the eagle plate, which shines in indigo blue. Clement information. The alpha type is used for gun maintenance and possesses no conspicuous characteristics. However, the sigma type will change its color to blue at a certain temperature. Oh god, so we're doing the card key puzzle from Metal Gear Solid 1. It's an odd coincidence that the temperature is exactly the same as the date of completion of this training facility. But I won't be putting that in this file, of course. Based upon our analysis of the Sigma type, we believe that Clement possesses more features. As new sig information is learned, we will update this file. I heard this bullshit report about a uh, Shadow Moses using the same sort of materials as the Sigma type in order to make their keycard. We're gonna sue that. We're gonna sue the cojones off of their ass. <laughs> ah! We've got power! Fuck this lighter, I don't even need that anymore. Give me a lockpick any day. Who is that? Hello, Alexia. How's it going? Alexia? No! She's already fully awake. Chris, you're here? Chris, I'm sending some company to keep you entertained. Is this who I think it is? How are you Consider alive? This a small welcoming gift from me. Enjoy. <laughs> it is! Wesker lives! <laughs> I saw those glasses. Nobody else wears sunglasses in this world. Come on. So, those are just holograms, or, or what? Or, or is that uh, is are, are the lizard men following the uh, the light from the, from that robo drone, as though they're cats chasing laser pointers? I'm really hoping it's the latter because then that's pretty hilarious. But, oh my god, Wesker, you're not a ghost! Unless you actually are, and we're just going kind of crazy. Maybe, maybe that that's what the lizard men are. They're... what? They're, uh... Yeah, probably. They're, they're ghost lizard men from the first game! Ah! <laughs> Wesker is alive! Oh my god! It's good to finally know. Because I kept hearing this stuff. Ooh. Hello. God damn. The coincidence. I needed that, and it just go goes right off the... the, 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 the uh. What a coincidence. I could never... Uh. Who, would I, who would I guess that something like that would have ever happened? Okay, we can't actually use this. I, w I, was, I just wanted to check... Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna stay on the second floor, actually, because I know once we go down to the basement, into that room with the gas ventilator and everything, that's gonna break, because it didn't break in the first half of the game, and it's gonna break in this half of the game, because it's gotta break at some point. Anyway, lots of stuff happened this episode, it's horribly collapsed. I'm, my name is OXFU, and I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. 
Actually, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. My name is actually Alex. Oxfoo is just a moniker I go by on the internet. I know it was as big. It's as big a shock as finding out Wesker is actually alive. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye now.